Rather than simply offering raw power, Onkyo engineered the PAMC 5501 to deliver superior dynamic responses with outstanding signal purity. Using custom components such as the massive troidal transformer, large capacitors and heavy duty transistors, these are all designed to handle very high loads. So let's go and take a look around the PAMC5501 multi-channel amplifier. The first thing you notice is the very, very clean lines, exactly the same as the preamp and the rest of our 10 series, and actually in fact 9 series amplifiers. So it will fit in with a large range of products. The 5501 is actually a 9 channel power amplifier, and it's also THX Ultra certified. The PAMC5501 is actually rated at 220 watts per channel. So it's nine channels at 220 watts each into six ohms. Part of that, with the THX Ultra 2 certification, you're guaranteed to be able to fill a room up to 83 cubic meters or 3000 cubic feet to reference level as the director intended. Now we're on the back panel. So let's take a closer look to see what we've actually got on the back of the 5501. First up is the balanced or XLR connections actually across every single channel on the back of the 5501 along with a phono input. The XLR inputs have the benefit of a better mechanical connection because they actually lock into place after inserting the plug. There's also a convenient input selector switch. Now you need to make sure you've got this in the correct position whether you're using the phono connection or the XLR connection. And it's very simple, up is for XLR, down is for phono. If you've got long signal runs between the preamp and the power amp, then it's probably more advisable that you use the XLR or balance connection. If it's going to be very, very close to the preamp, then it's not really going to make a difference whether you use the phono or the XLR. No matter how you connect the PAMC5501, just make sure you use good quality interconnects from your preamp to your power amp. This cable here is my personal preference, but there are many cables around the world, such as QED, Monster, Liberty, Straight Wire. You can pick up good quality leads anywhere in the world. Just make sure you use a good quality lead. The speaker binding posts have a black insert inside them which can be easily removed to allow you to use a good quality banana plug. Also located on the back for a convenience feature is a 12 volt trigger that you can run from your preamp. But if you don't actually have the trigger, you can use the auto standby, which once it's turned on, if the amplifier doesn't see a signal for 30 minutes plus, it will actually switch the amp into standby itself. And lastly is the speaker impedance switch. If you're using four ohm speakers, make sure it's the f in the four ohm mode. If you're using six to 16 ohm speakers, make sure it's in the six ohm mode. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the PAMC 5501 and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.